So today we are distinguishing between rational and irrational numbers. All right, so the definition of a rational number is a number that can be written as a ratio of two integers. In other words, it can be written as a fraction. All right, so a ratio is just a fraction and two integers are basically whole numbers, whether they're positive or negative. So if it can be written as a fraction, then it's a rational number. All right, so I've given you some examples of rational numbers. For example, all fractions are rational. By definition, right? If you can write it as a fraction, then it's rational. So a fraction is already written as a fraction, so it's rational. So 5 6 is rational. Negative 1 3rd, it's negative, but it's still a fraction. It's rational, okay? Also, all whole numbers are rational, like 12. The way we know it's rational is because I could write this as a fraction if I wanted to. Any whole number you can write as the number over 1. 12 can be written as 12 over 1, so 12 is rational. Same with negative whole numbers. Negative 6 would be negative 6 over 1, so it's rational. Some square roots are rational if they equal whole numbers. For example, the square root of 25 is 5, and we know 5 can be written as a fraction, 5 over 1. Therefore, the square root of 25 is a rational number. Turns out, all decimals that terminate, that end, are also rational. For example, 0 0.9. 0 0.9, we say 0 0.9, but you know we're mathematically, we're supposed to call it 9 tenths. The reason why we call it 9 tenths is because now you know what fraction it is, 9 tenths. 0 0.9 can be written as 9 tenths, so therefore it's rational. 1.25, which would be 1 and 25 hundredths, right? or 1 and 1 fourth. But we can write this as a ratio of two integers. 4 times 1 is 4, plus 1 is 5. This is 5 fourths. So therefore, 1.25 is rational, because we can write it as a ratio of two integers. So again, all decimals that end are rational, because they can all be written as a fraction. Now, decimals that repeat are also rational. Now this is a little bit trickier, okay? So you have to know some tricks here, and I do have videos to show you how to know this. But first off, the easy one, 0 0.333333 repeating. Most people know that 0 0.3 repeating is 1 third. And because 1 third is a fraction, we know 0 0.3 repeating must be rational, because it can be written as a fraction, okay? 0.73 repeating. This is 0 0.737373737373. And if you haven't watched my video, you can watch my video on how to change this into a fraction. There's two digits repeating, so I know that the denominator is 99, and then I take those two repeating digits and stick it on top. It's 73 over 99. So 73 99s. And by the way, if you're not sure, you don't believe me, 73 divided by 99, 0.7373737373. So since I can write that as a fraction, I know it's rational. 0.73 repeating. And even this one, where just the 6 repeats, 0 0.266666666666. And again, I have a video that shows how to convert this to a fraction using algebra. But if I wanted to write this as a fraction, it would be 8 thirtieths. Again, if you don't believe me, here you go, 8 thirtieths. 0.266666666666. So if I can write it as a fraction, just like I did with all of these repeating decimals, and all repeating decimals can be written as a fraction, then they are rational, okay? So just to recap here, all fractions are rational. All whole numbers, or numbers that are equal to whole numbers, are rational. All decimals that end, rational. All decimals that repeat, rational. Now you're probably wondering, well, what is, what's left? What could possibly be irrational? All right, well, first off, that definition of irrational, numbers that cannot be written as a ratio of two integers. All right, so if you can't write it as a fraction, then it's irrational. Now, what numbers can't be written as a fraction? Turns out, 
They're decimals that do not terminate and do not repeat. So if you have a number that's a decimal that goes on forever, but it doesn't repeat, then it's irrational. You cannot write that as a fraction. Now the most common, well-known, irrational number is pi, right? So here, if you wanna see pi, here it is. 3.14159265, okay. So notice, pi will keep going, and it goes beyond my calculator screen, so we don't really know, right? It goes 3.1415, okay. All right, it keeps going, there's no repeating pattern to it, and it doesn't end. So it doesn't end, it doesn't repeat, this is irrational, okay? And if we do something to pi, for example, we add five to it, it's still gonna be irrational. Instead of 3.1415, it's gonna be 8.1415, dot, 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 keep going forever and ever, ever. Again, it won't end and it won't repeat, okay? So there's an example of irrational numbers. Now it turns out a lot of square roots are also irrational. If you take the square root of a whole number and you do not get a whole number as an answer, for example, like this one gave you a whole number, but if you take the square root of a whole number and you don't get a whole number back, square root of 26, turns out it's always gonna be irrational, okay? 5.09901951, this keeps going forever. Notice there's no repeating pattern to this. It's about 5.09901, irrational, okay? And then here's some more examples of irrational numbers. And notice the way we write irrational numbers is we just write out those digits and then put the dot, dot, dot after it to show that the pattern keeps, uh, the numbers keep going, but there's no clear cut pattern to this. So we know that there is no repeating pattern to it. Now notice this one, there is a little bit of a pattern, right? Nine, one, nine, nine, one, nine, 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 one. There's a pattern to it but it doesn't repeat. So this is still irrational, okay? Don't get fooled by that because that's a common mistake that a lot of people fall for. They say, oh, there is a pattern, so it must be rational. No, we can't write a fraction for that, okay? So that kind of gives you some examples of what rational and irrational numbers are, all right? I think rational numbers are a lot easier for people to know because you've been working with them your whole life. Irrational numbers tend to throw people off because we're not used to looking at numbers and thinking, oh, this is a number that can't be written as a fraction, so it's not something I can completely write out on a piece of paper, all right? But just know that it's only irrational if it is a decimal that does not end and does not repeat, all right? so. Hopefully you found this video helpful. If you did, please hit that like button. Also subscribe because it really helps us out. But with that being said, good luck on your math and I will see you next time.